Welcome back everybody, Artiman H here with episode 12 of uh, God of War Ragnarok. We are picking up right after we killed the heavier warrior of the Dark Elves in this room. And I am ready to continue as soon as I figure out which way to go. Uh, did we? I don't remember if we came from up here or from dra down here. But this is, uh, or maybe from some other place. Well, really no idea. So let me just try to get up here, and maybe I will figure it out. Okay, this is where we came from. I mean, I guess I should have just listened to the boy. He was standing right here. Where is the blowy stuff? Uh huh, right over there. And we can reach it from here. Sorry, boy. I hope you didn't get burned. Mm -hmm. Is this a dead end? We have a chest here. How do we deal with the chest? No, we can bounce from here as I see. And let him. So this is not what we want. Would this be some kind of combination? Like throwing from here. But I would need to reach the third one. Oh, oh. Okay. Nice. These little puzzles are great. What we do in Alfarn, we wind up hurting Dark Elf. We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. OK. 
Okay. Well, it's strange still. Why would Kratos want to do something like this? I mean, I see, what should I do, but I don't really understand. Oh, wait. What? Okay, maybe I don't get it, so I should throw it up there, cross that one, and then that, and the other two, right? That's all. But I can turn this one to the correct angle. And maybe I will just have to do it from another point. I don't think it should be from back here either. Because hmm. this too, that's not enough. I have to include that as well, so that's why I need the crystal. But how? I guess that would have been a cheaty way to do this. Well, damn. I will take my time fig figuring this out. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe something like, no, no, why not? <gasps> this seems like the thing that I should do somehow. No? <laughs> Why not? It's so close. Can I get it down somehow? Mm. I guess no position is good enough. What am I not getting here? Mm-hmm. Wait, will we have some position from I don't know where? If I just move on. Yeah, I guess this should be it, right? Somehow, at some point. First of all, let's uh, move on. Um, sure.
which is the other one? Those two? Yes. Sure it is. And now I can do this, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Actually, was this way to progress? It would have been a lot easier if I just tried to move on without trying to figure out stuff that I shouldn't find out. Hear you, but I can see you. Oh. I felt that one, brother. Yeah, me too. The boy can't feel it, he's stronger than me. Sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luz. We'll get you out. Wow. Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, yes, it is. Dinner, lunch. Cool. Do we have a code exactly about this guy? Or are these the enemies? Primordial. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Let's see how can we free him. Free it. Let's just keep this at it. He is big. There's gotta it be a way to big. clear those rocks. I mean should I clear all of them? At once? I guess. Uh, let me see if I can do that. But there's just one. It won't help me really. Or oh no, because we have some. Okay, this is not the not the first. Okay, this is not. not. Hmm. 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 Okay, this is getting tricky. So how should I get all of them? I don't see. I can get those right now. Doesn't seem like I can get this one either. And I don't see a way to go further. Or can I get up here? No, I can't. 
Oh, okay, sure. Now I see it. Now? Can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Okay. Open the hive cage on the surface. Sure, let's do that. Why not? Set this creature free. Hopefully, it will live as it should be, unlike our whale friend. Handcuffers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. Mm. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> then let us free it. This is kind of stupid. I can break this wall from down below by launching up. But sometimes I can break it without falling from a specific height. That's reasonable. <laughs> Mm, some whispering slab chest or more wait what oh this looks cool and it's it's level four how did we get this i mean i don't know but i uh it's moderate luck but I on any last second evade well i'm not sure if i'm doing those but i like the aesthetics of it so if I get the whole set, I will try it out. Okay, and uh, what should I open now? Okay, it is further away, so let's call the dogs. Or cats, or whatever they are. Are we going toward the lights? No! We should go the opposite direction. Oh, wait. Is it what I think it is? We have a... The jaw of a creature. And we had a map. A treasure map. Kind of here. Yes, it is. Cool. And we did get a lot of experience from it? No, not a lot. Well, still, resource is resource. Okay, we have an accessory. Whatever that is. Uh, is it something that... Oh, okay, I see. Wait, what? Why? What was that? Oh, I, I guess I just messed up the ordering, right? Mm-hmm. And we are far past the point where we wanted to go. This is the spot! 
We can cut the half goof and loose here. Half goof. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, I know this. Where is it? Where is it? It breaks. Happier now, and hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can? Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... That's nice. I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. Have Gufa. We have discovered that the source of the sandstorm is in the barrens was a creature. Mimir calls a half Gufa. I encountered something like this as a boy, but it was much smaller. Sea creature it did not fly. And uh, now that the storm has subsided, we can explore the desert freely and collect resources. To the west, we can see another sandstorm, likely caused by an, uh, another half gufa. We should ease the creature's discreetious pain when the time is right. I'm glad we did this. As am I. I mean, I don't see the other sandstorm. Or did they mean that it's in a completely different direction? You know what? I don't really care. It's exploration time. Mm hmm. We have an hour near chest over here. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy, Odin knows all the realms get destroyed. Including Asgard. In the version Grola kept secret, Asgard still falls. Odin have tried to prevent it either way. What difference did her life really make? Enough. We will continue later. What was this sound? I don't see how to approach this place. Maybe it's for later. I mean, I can light these up just because. Why not? Think. Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do oh, not wait. Know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not nice. a competition. I mean, not yet. <laughs> Actually, I don't know because I didn't play the first games. So, shame on me, first of all. Second, I guess. I can say, I don't think the dragon was the biggest. So maybe they had something like... I think there was giants at some point in one of the previous entries. I guess a few more stuff is possible as well. Oh, look at that, I see... Oh, wait. Must have the three. And this was just a little stuff. I don't even know what to call it. Just a rock. We have a lot more to discover. Actually, 
I've been yeah. considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Old. We will finish later. Okay, and if we finish later, so as I was saying, I did figure out how to monitor the game volume at a different level from which I'm recording, but it is a bit too loud now, so let's see. If adjusting a little will help me. Oh man. Oh, is it a big one again? I didn't see this. What? It's not the horn of rage or mad or whatever. Oh, it's another tribute. Cool. Uh, so it's a horn. Not to be confused with Gyalar horn. This piece symbolizes peace. Symbolizes peace, or at least Friar's hopes. Friar's hopes for peace. Uh, it was said amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day Friar Friar would blow the horn of quiet and in so doing bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But I didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. Mm, yeah. I don't exactly remember how many ravens do we need to get the next item of this set, but I think it was twelve. What's that? A diagram. Diagram. For a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. The oh, okay. Lost pages. These pages. We have found pages turn from an ancient tome. Uh, the page contains diagrams of long forgotten sword hilts. If we can find the ingredients, I believe the drop dwarves can craft these relics once again. Okay, so this is something to collect as well. I'm sorry. Okay, so... Ah! 
Amir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alfheim. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkbonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. Do you think that means... Another half Gufa. Another? Oh, the other storm. Where is the storm? Is it this way? I think so. I don't think we can figure out these. Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches. They fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. Let this wait. Stay alert. These are really fun stories they are telling. Um, and now I should go back to the other part. Is it? Is that it? I think so. This is nice that these guys are just following me. It would be much harder if I would need to catch them every time. I am going somewhere by foot. Face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See, it's growing. Is it? It's <laughs> not just dirt. It's not dirt. <laughs> Cool. I like how they are teasing the boy. Oh, I could have just gone here, right? Yeah. Hey. Come back. Come back. Well. Everything can be perfect. Um. Yeah, let's just cruise around a little more. I didn't get a chance to say before. I like your story about the Thane and the Heath Witches. We really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore. Thank you, lad. Oh no, oh no. I was really not prepared for that. Survive this one. Oh yeah. Well, I definitely won't survive that. Brother, I had a thought. 
What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Yeah, that's the clear answer. No. Why would we? Yes, it is. Because it's hateful. I have to remember that I can block. That was the key to this time. Not these ones. I can't block these ones. Let me concentrate. I am always getting worse with each round. Was that like half my health in one hit? Oh, was he using Bifrost? What was that blue thing around me? Brother, all that thought. I think it's about to get by. <laughs> Dodging that didn't work and this one. Not dodging, um, blocking. Maybe I can block with this shield. Is it just a parry shield at all uh, in the end? I know that I wanted to check it, but I couldn't really see the difference. Whatever. Get some, yeah, that's it. Oh no, 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 don't, don't box me in. Come on, Kraton, off your back. This damage is just too great. I mean, if you can hit my half health down just this fast, wait, do I have the shield with me, or can I only change it with Brock or the guys? Because if I can change the other shield... Oh, I can! Cool, then let's do this. Because I think I might be better with the big one. If I can just block his attacks. You're on fire, Kratos! Give him fire! 
Stop it. How did I survive that? The one survived now. Yeah. me of tales of a cruel empress one too angry to die we will see oh will be her whoever it is chaos spark for sure we know that anything that's interesting stuff cool was this the yes it was the question mark Shield holding up black. It's good. I always knew Sinji was a great blacksmith, but this magical shield. It just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. I wonder if the generations playing with this game, whether they will be better deads just because the teachings of games like this and Last of Us and maybe a bunch of others. Sort of 
a harp. I can oh. play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain. <laughs> I remain that way. Actually, Atreus wanted to play on a harp, so we can give it to him. A miniature harp, unplayable, of course. Likely meant to reflect Freyr's musical skill. It's said that with a stringed instrument in, the, in his hand and the song on his lips, there was nothing he couldn't accomplish. No virgin too chaste, no warrior too wrathful. I like to imagine Freyr was smart enough to, not to resort to song and dance when it came to brokering a peace between the elves. That's what I like to imag imagine, anyway. Well, why wouldn't he if that's what works? Mm, now, now, now. Okay. Wait, what? Why? Can I break it? I can't break it while I'm getting it back, it seems like. So... The angle has to be quite different. I should throw it from there, but I can't get there, right? Okay, let me see what what is it I'm not seeing here. Uh, maybe I need to get up here somehow, but I can't. Hmm. My initial thoughts were, were right, I just missed the, miss, missed the timing. There were issues with Viscera. Okay, I did not uh, pay attention to what they were saying just now. I'm sorry about that. This is Rund of Affliction. Shield strikes against status afflicted and misconsumed the ailment. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but it has much more stats, so I will just use it. And actually, I will get back to the... What am I doing? Oh, I have the gauntlets as well. I just need the belts or waist guards. But until that... Uh, get the shields. And this one. Yep. There was a brief... Bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. I guess this is where we started, right? This is the mine. here I hope something simple like this 
Is it simple? Yes, it is. I get muscles like yours <laughs> when you look for them but Baldur was really strong and he didn't have any muscles my strength does not come from my body but both are honed by discipline what's that mean it means you've got the strength of a god no matter what lad but if you want the physique of one you'd better start picking heavy things up and putting them back down <sighs> <laughs> Yes, it's just said and done. What do we have here? Look here. Gulon Kul. Thanks to the opposition's grotesque hypocrisy, Alfheim's Gulon are the threat to our livelihood. Ah. So I have cook uh Though I have called many of the surface, many on the surface, there are undoubtedly, I can't speak today. There are undoubtedly more down below in the dark elves hovels. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair at the desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of the foul beasts. Let them remain. They will serve as useful subjects for further light infusion experimentation. The Maven. Okay, so these creatures are generally down below the earth. Look at them, they are actually beautiful. Are they like the light crystal lions? Well, something close to that. Is this all over here? I mean, at this stop, I guess so. Oh, wait. What? Now that we are here, I am actually not sure whether I've been uh, entering the caves from here or from. This is the entrance to the below, so that's where I've been, and this is probably something with what I didn't. S okay. Is this where we get out of the below? I think so. Maybe. Hopefully. Why do you yawn? Force of habit, I suppose. Since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. <laughs> Maybe the correct expression is that they don't need to nap. They can still do it. I guess this is the one we already saw, right? But did we check up there? I don't remember checking up. Wait, I heard a sound. Yes, I did. How are we with this? Show me the map. Chest. Oh, we are done with a lot of things here, actually. That's cool. Bastards about 
The wee bastard. you get for jumping away and blast you this time home but maybe not blast you oh wait what oh man the thing i don't like is in these fights are that you know they are just throwing enemies right, uh, one after each other and i can't be really sure when it's over so I mean, yeah, you should just pay attention, I know, but still. I might just use my shield for all this because they seem to die really quickly to hits. I think I should just go back to the my first armor and then uh, upgrade it and keep this fighting style because I kind of like it. Oh no, I didn't want to do that, but I guess now nah, I don't want to waste it. Okay, oh, this is the last. Then, you will be just sliced up. These ruins are the desert of our ignorance. So much of who we are is lost. Not just this desiccated le Levi Leviathan, nor its ilk, but the very identity of this creature is no knowledge forgotten. Was it a predator? A wraith of the barrens to be feared and avoided, or perhaps a gentle big bot tamed by the predivision elves and farmed for meat? The answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance. Our history remains buried beneath the generations of dead elves. Should we rather manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve, serve as a warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. Consul. Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess this is the fate of these people, but war is never good. No matter the reason. So you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. Hey. Well, I don't know if I want to get the favorite. I like most of them. Naturally, I like the ones know more that I actually know the game behind. So, Celestial Construct, a mind-expanding poetic experience constructed by those by who else but Quasir. Look around you, O oh God, turn your head, guide your, felt met guide your metal friend with care, 
or else it be dead, rescue its friends, experience tension, immerse yourself in a new dim dimension. I have no idea what that is, so let me check, I didn't open the web page since the last time, so crazy poem. It's <laughs> I can't find uh, the nice little list I was checking yesterday. Oh, there it is, maybe? No! <laughs> and this is the one. So, Celestial Constructs is Astrobot, which I don't know again. Favorite poem already. One from my homeland. And what is that, Kratos? Oh, we have the Bat of Radiance now. Okay, let me check this. Let's get all of them. These are strange. But you know, I will just get it because why not? The greenish colors are kind of strange on Kratos, but it looks cool nevertheless. Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes, but that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. So, Kratos was there at Troy. What the hell? I'm not that good in history to know when there was when, when that was. It still feels strange. So the question is, where can we go from here? We still have like one lore and two undiscovered things, right? And they said that uh, there is another of these jellyfishes that uh, we should free. So I assume this will be here. The question is if we can open it right now or is it for later? I think it is for later, right? We can deal with this now. The chisel will not open this. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barrens? A fair question. But until we find the right key, that poor half goofa will have to continue its solo act. Alright, so we are done here. Now I should figure out what to do next. Should we just go back to Sindri's house? I think so. Where was the door for that right over here okay brother in my travel I heard of a great battle in your homeland at a place called the gates of fire the hard gates you are there no is that regret in your voice I did regret not dying there for many years but no longer ah! okay <laughs> We are home. Let me just take a quick peek. What is this? This is where we came from or something like that? Yup. This is the dead end, right? For now. Let's talk with Sindri. Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. No, thank you. I do How have enough I money. Special items. You know what? He oh. Ooh. So this is something I will be able to craft because I got the blueprint for it. I just need the skin ears. Gambant Gambantina. Cool. Slash forward three waves of life that deal increased damage against enemies afflicted with Sonic. Whatever. At some point it should be cool. Uh, I will get one resurrection stone because why not? It's costy. Oh, 
got time to chat? Actually, yeah, I want if to I see the it, upgrade costs. The upgrade costs of. Wait, which one should I wear? This is the one. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of iron now. But for example, I don't think I will have enough boron and steel, at least not for now. See? That's my problem. I, it's feel like, it feels like that I will have to commit myself to the build I am doing. And I really don't like that. I like to change these from time to time. Anything more to discuss? Let's see. Oh, it's now nice you can talk. Here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if. Well, do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy. No. Yes, it doesn't feel like something that you should know, boy. Probably adult stuff. Adult stuff. Uh, oh, I have a lot of XP. That's possible. Oh, some. Oh, and because I've upgraded the weapon, now I can buy new stuff. I didn't realize that. So let's see. We have a frozen lens, which is M and press R2 during Frost Awaken. I really should use Frost Awaken a lot more. Uh, to throw the Levi Le Leviathan, Leviathan, Leviathan X with extreme force, knocking the target backwards. The is very high damage and frost and can break an enemy's guard. That's useful. Okay. Uh, that's a thousand. Glacial permafrost. While permafrost is full, whatever that is. Press L1. The strain go to consume a meter and activate. Enhances all Leviathan X melee attacks with far reaching waves of frost for duration. That's cool. Vengeance for Sickle. Okay, this is something I am not using very often. Returning Whirlwind. I want my bare handed to get here. Oh, this, this is useful. And Whirlwind Sweep. Switching stances by pausing momentarily after. Uh, you know what? I'm not, I don't. I don't know why, 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 why even I'm thinking about this. I can just buy all of them. The chaos blades are also fully upgraded, and I can spend some, or all, not all, definitely not all of them, for Atreus. I'm just not sure if I will ever see this one. Maybe keep it for a little later. Yeah, you can get some area of effect and about these. That's two, four, six, seven. I can buy them all. But I can buy most of them. So, oh wait, what's this? Mm-hmm. Okay, well no. I just got all these. Right. Now we can go home. But before we go home actually, I will finish this episode here. I'm taking a little break until uh, but uh, I will come back soon to continue with the next one. Uh, so yeah, thanks you for thank you for being here. I was Artiman Age, and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.